Hey friends, look at that child. She looks exactly like her mother, other than her curly hair and fair skin. Yes, you are absolutely correct. But why is it so? Why there is a difference in color of the skin and type of hair? I'll ask my mom and let you know tomorrow. Mom, I saw a baby who looked exactly like her mother, but had fair skin and curly hair. Why is this so? That was because of genes she carried from her mother. What does that mean? It was because of heredity. Come, I'll show you what it exactly means. Welcome to the lesson on heredity. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to define heredity, define variation, describe contribution of Mendel, understand the terms used in genetics, describe Mendel's experimental study with pea plants and describe the process of sex determination. Offsprings have characteristics acquired from the parents. These characteristics are called traits. The baby gets the fair skin from his father and the height from his mother. Since these traits are acquired from the parents, hence they are called inherited traits. Passing of traits to offspring from parents is called heredity. Baby gets the curly hair from neither of his parents and this is called variation. Gregor Johann Mendel, known as the father of genetics, studied the inheritance of traits in peas. This helped to arrive at the laws of inheritance and genetic variation. Let us first get familiarized with the terms used in genetics. Genes Genes are DNA segment of chromosome which carries the genetic information. Dominant trait Dominant trait is the trait symbolized by uppercase. For example, TT R R Y Y T for tall R for round Y for yellow Recessive trait Recessive trait is depicted by lower case R R T T Y Y etc. Phenotype Phenotype is the physical appearance of the plant. Genotype. Genotype is the way generations are represented like uppercase TT and lowercase TT. Now, let us understand how Mendel studied the law of inheritance in pea plants. The cross-fertilization between the tall plant uppercase TT and shorter plant lowercase TT was done. It was found that in F1 progeny or F1 generation, all plants were tall. Hence, uppercase TT is dominant trait, while lowercase TT is recessive trait. In second generation or F2 progeny, progeny of the F1 tall plants are not all tall. Instead, one quarter of them is short. On this basis, genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. 75% of the progeny produced in F2 generation were tall, while 25% of the progeny were dwarf. Hence, phonotypic ratio is 3 is to 1. Another example could be a child having attached earlobe, though his mother had free earlobe. This could be obtained 
as his father had attached ear lobes and this was a dominant trait what happens when pea plants of two different characteristics hybrid that is interesting question let us see what will happen we will consider cross fertilization of sound green seeds with wrinkled yellow seeds round and yellow seeds will be the dominant traits in f1 generation what happens when f1 generation is self pollinated in f2 progeny some plants shorted round and yellow seeds and some of them produced wrinkled green seeds however some plants also showed new combination of round and green seeds and wrinkled yellow seed hence it can be concluded that these traits are independently inherited why do we find that in one family we have only boys and no girls the sex of human beings is determined by sex chromosomes each human being has in all 23 pairs of chromosomes of these chromosomes 22 pairs are similar one pair which is different is the sex chromosome xy is the male sex chromosome while xx is female sex chromosomes x chromosome is inherited from the mother if x chromosome is also inherited from the father then chromosome of the child becomes xx and a girl is born if y chromosome is inherited from the father then resultant chromosome of the child is xy and a boy is born at the end of the lesson you are able to define heredity define variation describe contribution of mendel understand the terms used in genetics describe mendel's experimental study with pea plants and describe the process of sex determination